It's Kevin Burgess, people call me AB. Um, today, uh, first of all, I'll tell you about myself. I'm a missionary, um, urban missionary, uh, and uh, I feel like the Lord's called me to do mission, missions, um, possibly uh, even pastoring one day, but that's where I'm at. I'm a Christian rapper. Um, I love the Lord, and um, this is what He has me doing with my life right now. So, uh, I wanted to do my subject on something that, or well, my topic on something that was relevant, but also fit into the context which I, I'll be uh, fully pursuing and, and um, trying to live with and understand and preach the gospel to when I graduate. And I wanted to do it on something that was not talked about as much, uh, something that I can't go downstairs and find 15 research papers already done on. And um, I was challenged by a lecture that I heard and um, I wanted to uh, research the topic uh, deeper and um, uh, with more, get more, um, uh, get more points and know it deeper for myself and things of that nature. So this is what I came up with. Bam! What is sexy? A biblical view of practical sexuality. I mean, um, I want to start this off uh, with something. I'm, I'm going to wrap it and then after I get done wrapping, uh, hopefully it'll make sense by the time I'm done with my, my presentation, all right? I know this girl named Gina, black and Puerto Rican, 23 seeking, breathing female for Jesus. She used to be a diva, creeping on the weekends. Now she passing out Bible tracts at the same club she creeped in. She was discipled by the deacons, knows what she believes in, with reasons, taking younger women and trying to lead them. She hates teen magazines. She reads Ephesians, seeks to please him. She's a first Peter three chick. And if she got it, she don't flaunt it. She keep her body a secret. Don't want to give her husband what everybody been seeing. She be rocking that meekness, rebuke the modesty list. Like why you say men are dogs and then you dress and you feed them. Without the pedicure, pedicure? Without the pedicure, she got some beautiful feet, man. She loves submission. Now you know the Lord redeems men. She spends more time on her face than on her face. What does she need with baby fat when her godliness coordinates? Now Gina dates this believer named Stephen. Because the first verse wouldn't make sense if she was dating a heathen. That's treason. Stephen, he's and seemed to ring her. He's more attracted to God than her. Believe it. See, a pretty girl used to walk by, it would make his mouth fall. He had no control like a city that's without walls. Now, he rejects the half-dress, women that be wildin'. He wants a 1 Timothy 2.9 chick, where well, modesty's her stylist. While the world wants to wear the good shoes, he's rocking the good news. He rode with some good dudes who dress in the truth, too. He got that true fashion. He's wearing virtue and knowledge, reading Spurgeon and Calvin. Surely he's stylin'. Flying in his commentaries like, Christ, I'm in it. Yeah, my shoes might be fake, but my life's authentic. Strange his ass. Like, how much did you pay for that? He says, you can't afford it, man. A life that was gave for that. So this is where I start, I start my presentation off at. Um, what we're putting on right now, and what, this, what I'm going to be going into with, with what I'm discussing, is centered around what we put on. And the Bible says to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. But let's start like this. When you hear the word, when you hear the statement, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And this is really a foundational key of our understanding of sexuality, sexuality, because if we